Hello, my wonderful, amazing, beautiful, perfect, precious beings. <laughs> it's me. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about limiting beliefs and what they are. And I just want to say, if anything that a human on this planet says that feels wrong to you, it feels bad for you, that could potentially be their limiting belief. And so the most important thing about limiting beliefs is that you learn to trust yourself instead of taking other people's in. Even me saying, this is funny, but even me saying like something that feels bad is a limiting belief could become a limiting belief for you if you take it the wrong way, if you take that in and internalize it and say, that's the truth of it. You need to trust yourself. You need to trust yourself. And if you can't trust yourself, what do you need to forgive yourself for? What do you need to accept? Why are you not trusting yourself? What is it right now where you don't trust your judgment, where you don't trust your own intuition, where you don't trust what your internal guidance system is saying, what your body's telling you, what your heart, your soul, your mind is all telling you. Why do you not trust it? What mistake do you think you've made that you need to forgive yourself for? That is something only you can answer. So I would recommend you pause this video if you feel like you want to, if you feel called to, and ask yourself, what do I need to forgive myself for? And when you've figured it out, what you're beating yourself up on, what you are deciding is the cause for why you can't trust yourself anymore, why you can't trust life anymore, how can you forgive it? How can you say to yourself, I was doing the best that I could at the time with the tools that I had, with the knowledge that I had. How can you admit to yourself and be gentle with yourself and say, I truly was doing the absolute best that I could at the time. How can you get that message into yourself of forgiveness, of acceptance where you are so that you can move on? And be in the present. I think I read this in Letting Go, um, but it was something along the lines of we don't live in the present because our ego uses the past to project a future. So whatever's happened in the past, our brain thinks that's gonna happen again. So then it uses that what's happened in the past to worry about the future. What do you need in your past to heal, to let go of, to move on from? What do you need to just find acceptance for? Let it go and move on. What do you need in your past, in your own decisions that you've made to admit, now that I know what I know, I would have done differently, but I didn't know at the time and that's okay. And so I'm gonna move on and not beat myself up about it. What do you need to heal about your past that is making you so worried about your future that is bringing you out of here where we are right now right now we're here right now hey <laughs> and so remember your limiting beliefs are the only things that are stopping you from anything that you desire you are a powerful creator of your own reality you are backed and supported by the entire universe your limiting beliefs are the only things getting in your way. And they're there because you decided along the, way, along the journey, along the way, to pick up other people's stuff, to pick up like, oh, that didn't work out. I'm gonna beat myself up for it. Instead of saying, oh, that actually led me down a different direction that was actually good for me in hindsight. These limiting beliefs that you have are the only things stopping you from anything. We also have limiting beliefs as a collective. No one thought it was possible to um, fly an airplane until two crazy people created an airplane and flew it. And now we've got airplanes. I literally see them fly over me every single day. Every single day I see airplanes. 
there was a point in this universe where nobody on the planet thought that an airplane would ever exist because that's way too crazy. That's a limiting belief. <laughs> and this is just a silly example. But your thoughts create this material illusion that we call reality. And where are your thoughts stopping you? Where are you not valuing yourself, accepting yourself, respecting yourself? This is about self-love too. And if you don't want to call it self-love because you have a stigma against the word love, which is a limiting belief, <laughs> call it self-worth, self-value, self-respect. How are you not respecting yourself? How are you speaking to yourself the way you would never speak to anyone else on this planet? How are you judging yourself so harshly for things that in someone else you might say, oh, it's okay, it's just a mistake, it's just an accident, it happens. Where are you limiting yourself? And this is for you to start to discover, and you can. If you think I can't change, that's a limiting belief. If you think I'm too old, I'm too set in my ways, that's a limiting belief, and that is what reality you will create. It's all limiting beliefs that we have picked up, but we can let them go. We don't have to keep them. And the thought that you have to keep them is a limiting belief. The thought, because I've had it for this many years, I'm gonna have it for this many more, that's a limiting belief. It's all freaking limiting beliefs. This is <laughs> this entire reality, every single thing in your life that you want better or want to change is because you need to adjust your limiting beliefs. And if that doesn't ring true for you, don't pick up my stuff as your own limiting belief. Let me just remind you of that. Trust yourself above everything else. But this is such a cool reality we live in. It truly is magical. And when you go, if, when you are willing to venture inside and face yourself and admit to yourself, maybe where you've been judging yourself, maybe where you might think you have made mistakes, maybe things that you've been avoiding or suppressing, emotions you've been push, pushing down, memories you've been pushing down, when you're ready to start facing those and letting them come up and release them and release them and release them, you will start to recognize it has been you all along. You are the one who has been blocking yourself off from certain things because you're afraid that it will bring things up. So bring them up yourself. Bring them up yourself and face them. And there might be limiting beliefs around this. That's too hard. I don't have the time. I'm not that kind of person. That sounds scary. <laughs> That's not gonna change anything. There might be limiting beliefs around doing inner work and that's okay. That's fine, we all have them, we have so many, but you can change them, you can shift them. You can shift them with positive affirmations. You can shift them with letting go. I just made a video about the book Letting Go, which talks about facing those inner feelings and emotions and letting them go. And as you release old wounds from the past, thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts associated with those wounds, they're also released. Limiting beliefs associated with those perceived hurts in the past are also released. It's a journey. Trust the journey. I have a whole course on positive affirmations that I have put on my website. If you want to go check it out, if you want to learn more about how positive affirmations can help you shift those beliefs, because we can do the energetic work and that can help, but we also can do the repetition of positive affirmations Mommy. Mommy. of giving ourselves something new to believe. Mommy. Hello? Mommy. Some coconut oil. Oh, you need some coconut oil? And I'll oh, okay, I'll get you some. <laughs> so, I've got to go. Thank you so much for joining me. 
Positive affirmations have changed my life. Meditation, letting go of things, even just recognizing what limiting beliefs might be there is the first step. Not me, I need get up. Okay, you can get up in one second. So thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.